hello friends this is our array tutorial in this video we will learn arrays arrays are arrays are simple data structure uh, which is store data sequentially uh, one after another okay it's like a train uh, it's like a railway train uh, which have uh, block blocks one after another like that uh, like this is an array of size 5 ok the uh, by this uh, like that the arrays are stored in memory one after another like this line 1 is an uh, is our memory and this is a random place at memory in line 2 I put the address leave it out like this is an n memory and this is the beginning of array and this was the end of array uh, like that the arrays were stored in our memory address ok and array can be of any type like integer uh, and there can be an array of characters floats doubles and there can be an array array of structures ok uh, uh, so let's uh, make an example of array uh, first of all we can cre we create an integer array for creating an integer array we just need to type int and the name of array whatever we want here we uh, name it int array and we we need to give the size of array we can uh, give uh, we can make an array as large as we want but for our case we just write it array 5 <coughs> now this this is now what if we want to put a data in these blocks like these are array which we created and when we say its type is integer then we can only put the value integer value here like I put 34 in our first array and 2 in our second index and third 12 and 54 and 23 and on the last ok and we doesn't uh, put any uh, string in the <coughs> array cause it's an integer array now for putting values in array we just use name of array followed by its index value in the bracket in quotes ok now the indexing of array start with with 0 means this is 0th index and this is first this is second this is third and this is fourth ok now at the initial at the first I just put 20 and similarly I can do it by your space by changing the index 1 and in in first index I put 10 in second and in third and fourth I put 30 40 50 ok now save it ok this is how we can store data in our array and for taking out <coughs> we just use printf method and we can use our integer access specifier which is ampersand d and suppose we want to print this 40 means uh, okay we we have an spelling mistake here we i just write two twice and here and we can paste it here now this is how we can get the value from an array ok now just check it oh, sorry open compiler reach to desktop sorry what's its name array ok now this warning is due to sorry ok 
compile it <coughs> and then run it it will first assign the values in our array and then just print the value in the third third index means fourth fourth block which is 40 in our output okay now we are doing this this task by simply using print using manually by writing uh, all the time int array its index and assigning value we can do it by uh, you uh, we can get value by user and uh, by using a scanf method like scanf and m percent d comma at the address of int array followed by index where we want to put the value and this is how we can get the value from user okay now we can if we want uh, we want to use our loops here we just use for and put it inside the for loop and make a integer i for iteration and assign it value from 0 and give it condition i is less than 5 and increment it every time and then just make i here so what it will do uh, first it will place here 0 so that value in the 0th index will be uh, stored and it next time it will increment i and put it 1 here so that in this index the value is stored and it will do that until 4 which is our final index cause we uh, end our condition here and also the size of array is 5 ok so we just make it more general and put i here now just check it compile run now just put values these values we put and for similarly for output we just use printf and remove it now check our code compile then